How's the royal family? I pray that everyone is doing well. Well, my royal family, um, a few of y'all, um, the last few days, have been wishing me a unquote happy birthday, or I like to say happy royal day. And um, let me get a few things cleared up. My actual royal day is November 3rd, 1965. Um, and that would make me 52 years old. Well, I have a second birthday, which is March 17th, 2016th. So that would make me two years old. And what I'm, what I really mean, my royal family, that is the day that our royal father literally picked me up and held me in his arms. And I know a few of y'all have um, heard me talk about this more than once. And um, just, if anybody is new to the true royal family, I have a playlist just for the chosen ones and those are um, my spiritual videos and um, I was um, telling my husband yesterday um, it's almost I, I was I was almost sort of kind of like saying forgive me because I talk about this so much um, and I was you know going over um, the experience um, that I had two years ago and he said to me he said no 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 he said it's not bugging me what you're saying um, he said it's really deep you know he said he has had spiritual experiences but he's never heard anything so profound that I'm talking about but my husband was um, there to witness what I went through um, and it was um it was the most intense, um, intense situation I've ever been in my life. And I was telling my husband that I am forever changed. Um, and I said, I may seem like the same person, may even sound like the same person, but there I'm transforming within. And I've been reflecting even deeper about what I went through. Now, the one number one thing that I'm reflecting about is my shortcomings, places that I need to improve on my life, things that I don't particularly care about myself, and um, making. I need to make a bigger attempt of breaking um, bad habits. I'm not going to try to strive for perfection um, because that'll just put a person at a breaking point. But um, my royal family, we, um, the question that I'm putting out is, is there something about self that only you and God know that you would just really truly would like to just drop that particular habit or whatever it is or behavior? And um, I got a lot more work to do with self. And the beautiful thing about our father is we can stumble and fall over and over and over. And he continues to pick us up. And we may even take him for granted and not submit fully to his will. Um, and then we'll holler out for help um, when we're in the worst situation. And that's something that I really earnestly try not to do, that I want to acknowledge our Father as often as possible and not just in a crisis um, moment. And um, it's just um, so profound to um, literally be touched by the hands of our Father. And so what I was explaining to my husband, I was also um, attacked by demons too as well. 
And the thing that I was telling my husband, my royal family, is that I wasn't even aware of it. Um, when I did, and he was there, he was there with me to encounter it. Um, and do you know the thing that was surprising my royal family? It didn't frighten me. And I was telling my husband, not being 100% knowledgeable about the Bible, that I was explaining to him what, I, what my thinking was at that time. And I kept thinking about um, where they talk about um, Solomon and Gomorrah, and he was talking about Lot's wife, and he said, don't look back. And she turned into a pillar of salt. And so when I was going through this ordeal, and I was laying on the couch, I mean, I don't know how many hours. And my husband, you know, he was, he's such a kind person, he was trying to get me up. And I wasn't asleep, and I, and I, and I couldn't explain to him what was going on, but I knew that I, I, I should not move. And the only thing I kept thinking was, don't look back. And, um, and then also, I was thinking about where I've heard people say uh, many a time that I don't, I'm not quoting the scripture properly. I don't even know if it is a scripture, but y'all will help me with this. Um, um, if, you know, the devil encounters you, if you ignore the devil, um, he will flee. And that also what was resonating in me. And I just continued to stay God focused. And I just kept staring at this very piercing, piercing light outside my window. And, um, and I just fully, fully submitted my will to our father and that was something that I was telling my my husband I said um you know just trust and have total faith and trust the pro process and some people may even be frightened and it's nothing wrong with that whatever we may encounter but have that total faith and our father will get you to the other side um and um I was also thinking about um, a video I did the other day where I was, you know, very angry and I was saying, you know, we should be mad at our ancestors um, for being stiff neck and not submitting our will. You know, we were, before we were infiltrated, <coughs> excuse me, we were immensely blessed and we were disobedient at the same time and <coughs> we, we, have for generations have been um, punished for our um, disobedience to our father and um, wow it's just quite profound my royal family um, so as I'm reflecting today like I said, this particular, you know, this particular day, I keep just, it just keep resonating within me. You know how we, in, we have these internal conversations where it's like I got to improve here, I got to improve there, but I'm not frantic about it. But what I am is something that one of my dear girlfriends who passed, she used to be an addict, and she had got, she was clean and sober for many years, and she said, anything in life you just got to get so sick and tired of your damn self that you will make a change and I would listen to her talk about her sobriety a lot and I said to her one day I said shoot this applies in all aspects of, uh, uh, of you know life um, not just because you may be an unquote addict you know there's people that um, can be addicted to sex and food you know, we have overweight issues, um, obsessed with people, all type of scenarios in this cesspool that we um, live in. And so what I have learned is if you make the best eff effort within your realm, you can't do stuff mirroring other people. You, um, it's just you and our Father working simultaneously together 
And so y'all hear me pray a lot on um, the true royal family. But that was another thing that I was disappointed with self that I need to be more consistent other than on the computer um, praying privately to our father. Um, and um, with, co with consistency, it's like working out. Um, um, because when I do pray, I, I do say to the Creator, I pray that my prayers are heard and I pray that my prayers are heartfelt. But another thing, I don't want my prayers to just be repetitious. It's like just going through the motions and it's just sloppy, you know. Our Father knows our core and knows our heart. And... Um, another thing, because some people are new to the channel, another thing is that um, at first I was um, afraid to even speak on this. And I was, it was so beautiful and so profound and so intense and all these different emotions I wanted to share with the royal family. And then I said, oh, they'll think I'm out of my damn mind. I was just beating myself up with this for a long time. And um, because of the royal family um, and me out here seeking, like many are, because I'm on a spiritual journey, y'all actually was the one that helped me. It, and I, I truly thank the royal family. And I say this often. I said, even though there is many of us that have channels and some people choose not to, your words, that's why I say Render your voice with your beautiful divine words. Your words are powerful. I ask for scripture. So I feel like I'm being counseled by my my own. And it's very comforting as you start, this flower starts to blossom and you're learning about um, self. Because I, one of the biggest issues or concerns that I have ever had, even when I was really, really young, I didn't want to be fooled or corrupted by unquote uh, re religion. That was the something that really um, resonated within me. And I see that our father, even though I didn't pray it, that our father knew that that was something deep within me um, that I wanted to know truth. And I was not going to be one of these type of people that um, it's like I have um, went to different churches of different, um, um, what you call it, denominations, and um, one church would compare uh, um, their um, their brand of religion, and it's, it's like this this battle back and forth, and it's a turn off. It's a very very big um, turn off to me, and um, and others, and um, the, you know also in defense of our royals, um, a lot of them are so angry about what's going on in this system um, and they say they don't want to hear that God stuff or something like that and I was talking um, to a few royals and I said and I even spoke out on it and I said no they're not saying they don't believe in God at all it's just how it's being put at us it's like we're bowling and scraping and that's the rim that this cesspool that we live in they want us to be those type of people you know where we we um um talk you know, what mr super boy be saying bejeebas and all that kind of stuff and it becomes very disrespectful you know um when i when it comes to our father and even the black messiah i i approach our father with the must the utmost respect and um, and also, again, about submitting um, my um, will. And another thing that I learned through this process, my royal fr family, is about staying within your rim. And we all have a rim, and you can even manifest how you want your rim to look. I look at it as a circle, and... Um, and it can be the most precious metals and it may be something beautiful within it and that's how I look at us once we connect we're connecting like uh, we're connecting our rims like a chain link and when one 
gets weak, we're all there to hold each other up. Another thing my royal family is in this um, spiritual journey that I'm going through, I had mentioned that um, let's start manifesting within what our mansion will look like um, once we go back to the kingdom and what we would like in the kingdom and also start manifesting us being on our throne, you know, um, start preparing ourselves to the best of our ability once we're there. You know, it's like, um, I truly believe when you start thinking like that and manifesting like that, it opens up another portal with within because, um, you know, they, they, I mean, this system has really affected us greatly where, um, we, we, we're ashamed to talk about these type of things. And, um, you truly do get to an age as you continue to keep living that you just get sick and tired. It's like this must come out. And you, you know, you don't even know who you may be impacting by sharing your journey and experience. And, and you do have to be guarded to it well because you have people when you talk in, in a certain manner, they want to, if they're just so fire and brimstone with their brand of um, religion is like you out of your damn mind and they do not know the damage that they are doing to the other person because they may be very very sincere within the thing that I'm saying is if somebody have an experience and another person may dismiss the experience you have to realize that it is true and that it is valid in their world and um and and that's why I, res I always say I respect, I'm not trying to proselytize anything. I respect people's choices for all their, um, um, the different faiths or religions that they are involved in. Um, and what I'm learning also in the process, I so earnestly want to know truth that it took this channel to be put together that the subs um, woke me up to who I am and um, we are the actual true Hebrew Israelites It's very very profound and when I was talking about my husband about it he said no babe we are Christians and you know my oldest son said something deep because I didn't argue back and forth for anything my oldest son said um, my husband he's got 10 years on me and he said mom he said don't um, he, and and um, he said people shouldn't, and he mentioned my husband, that, um, um, you know, you got people that's like set in their ways, and don't, it's like don't mess with that person's belief system. It's like, you know, you don't know how deeply you may be disrespecting them. Um, um, you're pushing buttons that you have no business pushing, and you may be approaching the person with the most respectful manner. Um, but that's something that we should treat very sacred. And, um, if a person is open, the truth will come to you, believe it or not, it will actually come. Um, even though you may be seeking, um, and that's actually how I realized it, um, based on how I named the channel and everything, um, truth, um, truthfully honest, she was the one that told me and then I started paying more and more attention and it's like wow this is profound you know and so um, how I look at myself is just a two-year-old child today is my royal day we all have those royal days if we choose to have a second royal day and it's all about growth um, and trying to improve self and ministering to the royal family and also ministering to self. We're all reciprocating this information back and forth and remaining humble in the process. It's a beautiful thing being chosen, um, but it ain't easy. It ain't easy. And um, we have the necessary material within ourselves to endure 
the type of tyranny that we had we have had to continue to um, deal with um, and um, the one thing that I have been feeling and it has been resonating in the universe um, <clears throat> the royal family is really truly to the core to the depths of our souls sick and tired of all of this um, being subjugated globally you see the things that are going on in South Africa um, you see in karma being rendered down on our true um, true in enemies they seem to not be bad they well they never was balanced but they gave the appearance of being um, balanced and so I was saying to the royal family and even people offline is that do you realize we were actually picked and selected to see the first phases of Babylon falling in the spirit world. We, we, we it's like we literally volunteered for it, or we, yeah, we'll pick for it, excuse me. Um, and it is, it, and so um, I was telling my husband when I'm seeing things, I said, it's all spiritual. I look at it with my spiritual eyes, I listen to it with my spiritual ears. And everything and the um, a few days ago they had the big um, mass walkout throughout the United States um, where they were going to walk out for 17 minutes and I had mentioned to the royal family that our father um, said that I would always see the number 17 you do not know how profound this is to me very profound and I'm glad that because uh, it freed me up that I had went ahead and just told the royal family and so people have been saying you know I seen that number today um it just keeps you know keeps popping up and they say I thought of you and you know that's deep but we all have our numbers you know um if you know your number put it in I'll just be curious just to see it because to be earnest with you my royal family I didn't pay attention to numbers at um on that type of level where it's like wow I keep seeing this all the time I keep seeing this all the time and um, it's it's just really really deep and the other thing that I also want to mention about um, a little more in depth about being chosen um, is um, um, in these in this last these these um, well since the last days is over with that it is um, pertinent that we um, really demonstrate and also submitting our will fully because these these folks throughout the world they literally going to completely lose it when they fully get the big picture that they are no more in power at all and the first thing they're going to want to do is attack us but um it's going to be in a different way they may come at us humbly and I had one day I don't know when it was and I and then it, and then I got confirmation um, through Lisa Cabrera one day work one day it was like God was speaking within me and I said wow God basically he said that these cockazoids um, they're going to be um, be dealing with so much so much um, of these curses beating on their behinds they'll be like here just take my stuff you know they'll just hand it to us and um, thinking that that will help um, help f for them to not to have to deal with their ancestral sins that's what we are seeing in um, Akibalan right now do y'all realize my royal family that Akibalan is um, the youngest country in the world um, there are so many royals over there and a lot of their parents died from all the injections and Ebola and um, smallpox and HIV you know they they it's 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 um, it's um it shows you the level of their evilness that they'll sit up and inoculate us and poison us and kill our crops and all these things that, that they are doing and they're disrespecting mother nature throughout the globe 
with us being very spiritually, the most vibrational people and very spiritual people, we also have a connection with um, Mother Nature. And um, our true enemies don't have respect for Mother Nature. They just keep demanding, drawing oil up out of the ground, out of the oceans, poison in the waters. It's just all type of stuff that they do. And they really, you know, the thing is ironic. I had showed that video um, a few weeks ago about all that, um, all that trash in the ocean. And I was saying to my husband, I said, you know, these folks, they call themselves environmentalists and, you know, they out here going green and all this type of stuff. We had been did that stuff. Um, we got what we needed. We disposed our waste in a proper way. And, you know, they, they are the new people here. So everything is just so fascinating, but then they always want to take charge of it. Yes, we are um, concerned about Mother Nature. We don't want pollution. We don't want bad water. In fact, my husband told me, he seen on the news the other day, that they were saying that there was plastic particles in the water. And it's like, these people, I'm telling y'all, a couple of people have dismissed me. I was on a hangout, and, I, and, and everyone went silent on me. I said, in this war... Um, how messed up these folks is, and they already doing it on a, uh, um, they, they already doing it, just put it like that. I don't know at, you know, the percentage rise that they will, it's like, well, since these curses is rendered down on me, I'm going ahead and poison all the water. We all gonna die up in here. These people are deranged. They, you know, they truly is. And so that is within them, and our Father know the core of them, that they really truly don't respect mother nature they're not going to stop doing what they are doing the divine hand has to play a part in this because even the ones um, that have cooned out backstabbed us did all the horrible stuff um, to us we have to have the divine hand and how we um, get that those blessings that we want we must do our part in this war. And it's a lot of us that do that, what I call that hoping and a wishing and a praying, and that's it. You know, it's like having a, I heard some sister said, um, it's like having a bad disease and you just pray it'll go away. Stop being foolish. We need to go to the damn doctor, you know. Don't, don't tempt our father like that. Or it could be, um, okay, I'm going to show you how strong my faith is. I'm going to stand in front of a train. Use common sense. Again, do your own thinking. Instill this into our royals. You know, and they can handle and stop trying to shield them from this system. Let them know the core truth about this because um, some of us ain't getting it. And that's a disappointing thing that you'll have our royals just sitting up there just looking lost because they haven't been properly taught about how these people is um and um what else am i thinking of i think that's pretty much what i think i wanted to convey to the royal family i'm just speaking ran randomly um the many things that run through my um head and so um, I hope that helps the royal family that I have cleared that up because y'all been, you know, so gracious saying happy anniversary and happy birthday or unquote happy royal day. Um, I'm just humble, Father, but I'm also um, knowing what I need to do to continue to work on self. And pretty much my royal family, even though it was random things that I was talking about it's just um, take some time to reflect also during this retrograde process um, and it won't be so unquote bad but I'm going to make the biggest effort to keep that on our frontal um, um, lobe but also the beautiful also the also the beautiful thing about once you know about um, retrograde to me it's like you're paying more attention to the creator too as well and and God is showing his energy and his forces and those magnetic pulls from the um, the um, 
out there in the universe uh, all those different um what they what they call them all those different moons out there they got a name for all of them so with the numbers that's an awareness level an acknowledgement level oh yeah and the other thing i had told y'all i seen two rainbows the other day they wasn't like real strong but i seen them and even my husband said he seen a real strong one another day it's been raining up here pretty good but it was like wow i seen it and then maybe 10 minutes later i seen another one and i just kept thanking our father that was the covenant that he made with the royal family our father truly truly my royal family does keep his word sometimes you may feel like he's not hearing us um and he is he is we have to just continue to endure i know it's painful and it's also joyful that these folks are slowly but surely starting to feel the side effects of their ill behavior and also what we have had to deal with um those generational curses um and that's pretty much it my royal family um so anyway my royal family render your voice with your beautiful divine words and as always my royal family i thank you for your love i thank you for your support and with that said ashay <laughs>